I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Joseph with the Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And now he's got room to run. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings up second and nine. Here we go! Looks middle, got his back. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. They lose three yards there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. He flings it right. Right around the 14-yard line. You know, they did a great job here of not just getting past the first down marker, but picking up some major yards on the play. And they get nice yardage on that run. Down at the nine. Really good play here and run support by the linebackers. The big guys up front took away the running lanes and he was able to get through for a loss. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires quickly and they got it. Touchdown. Tax on the extra point. And he played 78 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown. Play. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Hill's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. And not only does this guy not get rattled, but he's also a guy that seems to have an uncanny ability to quiet a crowd by making such big plays. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds around the 31 yard line. Game of six yards. Watch the slant, watch the slant. That'll bring up third and four. My five, my five. Go, Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim. Halfback calls it in past the marker. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Complete across the middle. And down he goes at the 41-yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. He gets rid of this one. 
from the 41-yard line. It's second down. He throws right. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. scrambling and they make the stop at the 23 he fires left side stays in bounds and made a nice catch that's, That's good for a game of 20 yards. That makes it first and goal. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he almost has the INT. Almost a big play. He patrols the deep part of the field like a center fielder, though he didn't make the catch like one. Second down and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. the three-yard line. That makes it dirty. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And down he goes at the 28. last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Big opening. Runs outside for a nice game. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. Slings it. And they'll bring him down behind the line. And they'll lose a yard there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. It's third down and five to go. Ball on their own 33. Looks to his receiver, first down. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. To give up the middle tackle right away. No game. That makes it third and eleven. He airs it out. Run up the middle. That makes it second and six. He's on the run. 
And he has it on the corner. Very good tackle in space. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and two. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Pitches back. He fights forward to about the 16. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. It's the 11th play of the drive. Scrambling around. Slides down. Not over here. Not over here. Not over here. So at the end of one, we get a tie game at 7 7. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. I'm coming after you. I'm the quarterback you. in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review, After review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Kentucky with a six-point lead. And he makes the PAT. Duffy looks ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he hauls it in. And he tackles him hard at the 45. That's a game of 20 on the play. That makes it first and 10. There's a strike complete. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. First down. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. gets rid of this one. Two times, two times. He throws a dart. Oh boy, almost intercepted. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kentucky is up by a touchdown. 
Gets to about the eight-yard line. And he's taken down around the 17-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. He has some room. Tackled after a decent pickup. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He fights forward to about the 29. That's good for a gain of two yards. Third down. He's going to try and scramble. Dives for extra yardage. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. The middle for a nice game. That makes it They hand it off. He fights forward to about the 43. That's a game in two. That'll make it 31. Kentucky is up a score. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Now he tries to buy some time. And he hits him hard at the 48. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Mike 40, Mike 40. They're not ready for this, man. They're not Here we ready. go. He got it. To the 10. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big-time game. And this is the 12th play of the drive. He scrambled. He lost the ball. Now the defense has it. The safety. That's a great tackle at the two. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Nice run up the middle. Hill picks up five with the carry. From their own seven-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Kentucky is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Just a good showing on all three downs by the defense. That should fire them up. Dane is waiting for the snap. Oh, excellent punt. Takes it at the 43, gets to about the 44-yard line. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. 
If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. And a quick throw. Caught, and that's a first down. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Kentucky up seven points. Tackle at about the 21. Fires to the wide out, first down. First and 10, ball on the 14 yard line. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. Now he's scrambling. He's on the run. He dives and he'll be marked down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. They'll bring him down at the eight. Wow, a long game, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down, so the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. Kicks up, and it is good. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 17-7, Wildcats. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. All week long, when I would think about this game, I thought that we were going to have a nip and tuck affair from start to finish. Now you look up, the margin is a couple of possessions, a couple of scores. It's a great opportunity for this team to come out in the second half and put this thing away. Yeah, you knew it was going to be a close game, and you feel fortunate to be on the right side of making some big plays. And you don't necessarily know, Reese, if that's going to happen in the second half. So you got to take advantage of this lead. Make sure that you don't squander. Make sure you don't make mistakes in the second half. But if you're looking at it right now, you're going, I'm pretty excited. I'm up two scores, and everything's going in the right direction. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. He's got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's out of bounds at the 28-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Steps out of bounds around the 30-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. goes out of bounds at about the 33 yard line that'll make it fourth and two they're stacking the line it looks like they're coming after this punt and this one is a beauty he makes it to the 35 yard line 
So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's in trouble. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Can't ask for much more than a three and out. Great job, defense. Johnson back deep to return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Brought down at the 34-yard line. That's good for the game of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Quickly incomplete. Brad, this gives you an indication of his versatility. He's a physical linebacker that a lot of times is up trying to stuff the run, but he has ability to be able to make plays in space, and this time he climbs the ladder and knocks that ball away. Just throws this one away. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Flips it, middle to the running back. And he is drilled at the 49. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Throws in a hurry. Got it. Complete, and he's out of bounds. First down. Quick throw. Tackle made around the 24-yard line. seven yards. That makes it second and two. Five wide. Throw is middle to the tight end. And he's immediately tackled. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Nice run there as they work the outside. That makes it second and six. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Here's the 11th play of the drive. They come out in a five-wide set. Let's it go. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. Ruiz gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 31-yard line. And 
And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Kentucky is up by three. Gets out to about the 31. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. right away. He fights forward to about the 46. I don't think he got anything on that. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Duffy to punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they push him out at about the 25-yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings them second and five. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He has some room. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds at the 50. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. Brought down immediately. That makes it second. They'll spread the field with five wide. Zips it to the tight end. Good open field tackle. First down. his man and they take him down immediately that brings him second and five he makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. Wildcats with a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action. Fourth quarter. This one will decide it. Tight ball game through three. quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it it looks like they're going to try for the long field goal it has the distance and he got it and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff sends it sailing downfield this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Complete. He's got room. Looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Excellent open field tackle. That makes it second and two. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And he's taken down at the 45-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Pitch out, got the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Short over the middle. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. They're about four yards away here on second down. McLean on the give, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. That'll bring up third and four. He's got it with room to run, and he tackles him hard at the 28. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. Feeds it to the back, and he hits him hard at the 24. Call it again, one yard. 45, 45. Check three, check three, check three. Help, help. Ready up. Black guy's in. He's on Wears it out to the right to the halfback. Here's the give. Gets to about the 17-yard line. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 17. Quick throw. Caught. Touchdown. That's his third toss for a score. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he converts the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackle at the 24-yard line. Go, go. 
scrambling around. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. That's good for him. First down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Slings it out there incomplete. Just flung it out there, and it was short. Uh, he got a little bit lazy here. There's no question. He should be able to make that throw nine out of ten times. That was the one time he missed it. So it's second and ten. All on their own 36. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 37. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on that quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit, whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. He airs it out. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. This is the eighth play of this drive. We have less than a minute to go. And he shoved out of bounds around the 44-yard line. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. at the positive yardage. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 48. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Boy, the senior linebacker's experience really showed on that run. He sniffed it out perfectly and made the tackle. Down he goes at the 47. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Hill's ability to make plays in this situation has got to be driving this defense crazy. Well, he's the difference maker in this situation. Imagine being the defensive coordinator and looking down at his play sheet. You know he's coming up with any defense he can to slow this running back down and not allow him to be in a position to win this game for this offense. Once it all, going deep. And he got it inside the 30. And he's tackled at about the 11. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it six and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the eleven. Here they come. And he stops the clock with a spike. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. The 
the whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. This one's in the books, and our final score, 24-17, Kentucky. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? You wouldn't figure either team would pull away, and it'd go right down to the very end. This was a really exciting matchup. Kentucky was not going to win this game easily, and they knew that. They had to scrap and should be proud to come out on top. Both teams should be proud of their effort. That wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Curb Street. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.